Okay, what's up, Ticket Mel? Welcome to the live stream. Happy Sunday. Hope you guys are doing well. And um, let me just make sure the audio is good. Testing, testing, good. Uh, so I've had a couple people hit me up about this whole um, trial thing that's happening. It's happening Monday. Johnny Depp, Amber Heard. I don't know too much of this. I just started reading about this recently. I've always heard of rumblings, but there's people that have been covering this in depth. Um, and I've heard of some of the crazy stories, like supposedly she uh, defecated on this guy's bed, the whole, his finger got cut off. And so what I wanted to do is kind of like a little bit of a preliminary stream. I think I am going to be streaming this thing. I think we'll be here in the morning. I think tomorrow is jury selection. Uh, but I wanted to get a little preliminary thing going on, talk a little bit about it. Uh, and what I'm going to try to do is kind of learn too, as I go about this whole story, this crazy situation and kind of get an idea to where you guys are at and what you think about this whole story. Um, and I'm going to start with this article. I did pull up some links, some video stuff as well, some audio. This one's kind of long, but this, especially for the people that haven't been following this, this, I found to be a pretty useful timeline uh and also if there's people out there that are like hey mel did you see this did you see that have you seen this clip send it my way email me dm me if there's things that we need to see i can pull it up uh during the trial but um yeah i know popcorn is going to be covering this he hit me up also um molly is going to be covering this as well i'm sure there's going to be a bunch of people covering it i don't usually cover celebrity stuff but this has to do with like you know domestic violence it's pretty insane um what's up welcome welcome the the amber heard the the feces thing man i couldn't believe it and then somebody um lauren sent me a link and it's there on twitter i don't want to put it up on here but it's there so amber heard pooped on johnny depp's bed and then blamed it on the tiny yorkies this is no tiny dog poop i mean i, I don't know bro it's just crazy so let's start with this article and then I'm going to play a video too, a little, I don't know about this story. Um, I lived in the area over 10 years, going to be intense drama. All right, well, let me start with this article. Johnny Depp's defamation lawsuit against Amber Heard is expected to go trial in, to trial in Virginia. Depp sued Heard in March 2019, alleging a column Heard wrote in the Washington Post about domestic violence was defamatory and asking for 50 million in damages. Uh, Heard has filed a hundred million dollar countersuit. Okay. The proceedings are scheduled to start April 11, 2022 in Fairfax, Virginia. Heard's witnesses are expected to include James Franco and Elon Musk. I don't know if they're really going to come through or not. That's kind of interesting. Uh, So the timeline, okay, 2012, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard start dating. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard are believed to have started dating that year after Depp split from his longtime partner, French actor Vanessa Paradis. Depp and Paradis have two children, okay, a daughter named Lily Rose and a son named Jack. Heard and Depp are believed to have met on the set of the 2011 film The Rum Diary, which the video we're going to watch, they talk about that too. Uh, March 2014, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard get engaged. Johnny Depp confirms that he and Amber Heard are engaged after a couple of months of speculation. The fact that I'm wearing a chick's ring on my finger is probably a dead giveaway, he says while promoting the film Transcendence. February 2015, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard get married. Okay. According to People Magazine, they had two ceremonies. The first is at Depp's home in Los Angeles and a second at Depp's private island in the Bahamas. I didn't know he had a private island until this article. Yeah, Virginia, Virginia. Biggest drama at Fairfax, uh, Virginia courts ever. Do you, is this going to be really big, right? This should be big. This whole case. Johnny Depp, victim of domestic violence, in my opinion, he, from hearing the gaslighting audio tapes. There's a few that I found. Well, there's like the deposition. I'm going to play these. These are from um, 2016, I believe. There's also this infamous video. I don't I don't know the context of this video. It's Johnny Depp upset. And um Yeah. 
Okay. So they get married in 2015, 2016. Uh, Amber Heard files for divorce. Amber Heard files for divorce from Johnny Depp, citing irreconcilable differences. The same month, a judge grants Heard a restraining order against Depp over allegations of domestic violence on his part. In a sworn declaration, Heard alleges that Depp threw a cell phone at her during a fight, which struck her in the eye and the cheek, and that he screamed at her, hit her, violently grabbed her face, and pulled her hair. According to the Associated Press, she submits to the court a photo of her bruised face when requesting a restraining order. Heard is seen with a bruise on her right cheek below the eye per the AP during a court appearance. During the entirety of our relationship, Johnny has been verbally and physically abusive to me. Heard writes in the filing, I endured excessive emotional, verbal, and physical abuse from Johnny, which has included angry, hostile, humiliating, and threatening assaults to me whenever I questioned his authority or disagreed with him. She also writes, I live in fear that Johnny will return to our house unannounced to terrorize me physically and emotionally. Depp has denied allegations of domestic abuse. His lawyers alleged in court document in 2016 that I heard was attempting to secure a premature financial resolution by alleging abuse. The LAPD said in May 2016 that police officers who responded to domestic incident radio call on the 21st of that month found no evidence of any crime. Her legal team has since subpoenaed the LAPD in connection to that same call as part of an ongoing defamation court case opposing Heard and Depp. 2016, Johnny Depp and Amber settled the divorce after months of con forgot how to say that word. Contentious proceedings, Depp and Heard reached a settlement in their divorce. Our relationship was intensely passionate and at times volatile, but always bound by love. The pair say in a joint statement at the time, neither party made false accusations for financial gain. There was never any intent or physical or emotional harm. Heard pledges to donate seven million from Depp to the American Civil Liberties Union and the Children's Hospital in Los Angeles. In August 2021, a New York judge partially granted a petition from Depp to determine whether donations had been made. And in 2017, January, the divorce is official. Uh, I'm taking the chat real quick. <laughs> uh, so the divorce is official. We're all pleased to put this unpleasant chapter in Mr. Depp and his family's lives behind them. Depp's attorney, Laura Weiser, writes in a statement, having a request for entry of the dissolution judgment granted today made it particularly lucky made it a particularly lucky Friday the 13th. Um, June 2018, Johnny Depp sues over the Sun headline. On June 1st, 2018, Depp sues the news group newspapers, the company that publishes the Sun for alleged libel over an article published in a tabloid newspaper in April for that year with the headline, Gone Potty, How Can J.K. Rowling's Be Genuinely Happy Casting Wife Beater Johnny Depp in the New Fantastic Beats film? Johnny Depp would eventually lose the case. December 2018, Amber Heard publishes an op-ed. So this op-ed was like a big deal from what I'm hearing. Uh, this is where uh, I think the lawsuits are coming in as well. It says on December 18, 2018, Amber Heard publishes an op-ed in the Washington Post titled, I spoke up against sexual violence and face our culture's wrath that has come to change. In it, she writes in part, like many women had been harassed and sexually assaulted by the time I was of college age, but I kept quiet. I did not expecting film. Wait, I did not expect filing complaints to bring justice. And I didn't see myself as a victim. Then two years ago, I became a public figure, figure representing domestic abuse. And I felt the full force of our culture's wrath for women who speak out. Depp isn't mentioned in the op-ed. The op-ed will later become the basis of the 50 million defamation lawsuit filed by Depp, naming her as a defendant. In 2019, Johnny Depp sues Amber Heard. Depp files a 50 million lawsuit against Heard, alleging that she defamed him. In her Washington Post op-ed, the post, the op-ed depended on the central premise that Mr. Heard was a domestic abuse victim. Sorry, Mrs. Heard was a domestic abuse victim and that Mr. Depp perpetrated domestic violence against her. The complaint alleges part calling the claim domestic abuse category, categorically and demonstrably false. Okay. Johnny Depp's lawsuit against the Sun goes to trial July 7, 2020 in London. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard both 
arrive in the high court of justice with her scheduled to testify in this in support of the son Depp's lawyers argue he is seeking vindication, not money. Depp himself denies the allegations of domestic abuse. A spokesperson, uh, a spokesperson for Heard tells Vanity Fair Heard never asked for these proceedings to take place and has tried to move on with her life. The child lasts for three weeks with explosive allegations emerging as part of the evidence and testimony. The proceedings wrap up at the end of July. It's a whole bunch of <laughs> information. But I feel like we kind of have to go through this timeline a little bit. And even in reading this timeline, I'm, I just, I was like, there's a bunch that I don't know because I went browsing YouTube and I was looking at some of the videos that people made on this. There's just a whole, but I mean, this has been going on for years, you know? Um, August, 2020, Amber Heard counter sues. Heard follows a 100 million countersuit against Depp in response to his liberal lawsuit, accusing him of allegedly orchestrating a smear campaign against her and describing his own lawsuit as a continuation of abuse and harassment. In the filing, Heard asked the court to grant her immunity from Depp's complaint and asked for a compens uh, compensator. Oh my God. I can't even say that. Compensator. Oh my God. They're going to kill me on this shit now. Compensatory. Compensatory. Holy shit. Compensatory damages of not more than 100 million, specifying this is twice the amount Mr. Depp asserted against Ms. Heard. November 2020, Johnny Depp loses his liberal battle against the son. The court rules in favor of the son in liberal lawsuit. Justice Andrew Nicole said the defendants proved the allegations against Depp were substantially true. So they're saying it's true here. I have found that the great majority of alleged assaults of Ms. Heard by Mr. Depp have been proved to the civil standard. The judge writes in a ruling an attorney for Depp calls the judgment so flawed that it would be ridiculous for Mr. Depp not to appeal this decision. March, 2021, Johnny Depp is denied permission to appeal loss in the Sun case. So he couldn't appeal Two court appeal judges fined against granting Depp permission to appeal the judge's decision in his liberal lawsuit. Uh, against the son they're saying it was full and fair the judge's rulings have not been shown even arguably to be uh vitiated vitiated by any error of approach or mistake of law uh and then here we're up to the end here jesus christ we made it <laughs> <laughs> so okay and i'm gonna play a clip too that's Kind of shorter, but April 11, 2022 defamation case will go to trial in Virginia. The trial and Depp's defamation case against her is scheduled to begin April 11th. Uh, the Washington Post in which her op-ed op was published has printing facilities in the state. Oh, is that why? That's why it's over there, I guess. Heard's witnesses are expected to be James Franco, Elon Musk. They can go. They can get on video. Depp recently suffered a significant setback when the judge in the case... Virginia judge Penny Azacart found her could argue that her op-ed deals with a matter of public interest. So I think this whole thing is going to be kind of surrounding this whole op-ed situation. She's batshit crazy. <laughs> per the AP Depp's legal team had tried to argue with her to, ar to argue that her shouldn't be able to rely on Virginia's anti-slap legislation Anti-slap laws, which stand for anti-strategic lawsuit against public participation, are designed to protect people from being sued when they speak out on matters of public interest. Uh, Judge Azakarat ruled that her could, in fact, invoke Virginia's anti-slap legislation in her defense and argue to the jury that it should apply to her op-ed. Well, let me play this little short clip here. This is by... Um, viral vision number six the start of the lie and this was from march 10 2021 nice. so where does the lying nature of amber heard really start in regards to her time with jd most would say that the first lie was actually when she and jd got together some years back they met on a movie called the rum diary and they were said to have really hit it off and even left previous relationships 
to go and be with one another. Some would argue that this was the first lie, because based on what would happen, it was clear that she didn't really love JD, but rather was using him for greater and grander status in the Hollywood world. Because while she was a star in her own right, Johnny was one of the biggest male stars in Hollywood at the time. So her being with him absolutely elevated her to new heights, and indeed she got some very big roles after being with JD. But as you all know, that's where everything started to go wrong. Because while their dating life was said to be fine once they got married, it all fell apart. Number 5. The Year-Long Marriage JD and Amber Heard got married in 2015 and it was a small and private affair so that they could enjoy being married. It was a happy time for a bit and then about a year later they got divorced and everyone started to ask what was going on? How could a couple that after years of dating suddenly divorce after just one year? According to Amber, the reason for that was incredibly simple. Right after she filed for divorce, she noted that the reason she did so was that she was a bead by JD. At first though, she didn't say this too loudly and appeared to only use it to get better position in the divorce proceedings. Eventually, the two had an amicable parting and they even made a joint statement in which they admitted that there was hurt put on both sides, but they did really love each other. Or at the very least, that's how JD felt, because after another year, Amber Heard went to the Washington Post and wrote an op-ed where she stated that she was a bead in a key relationship of hers. She didn't say JD's name in the piece, but everyone knew that she was referring to him. JD naturally was furious at this and not only denied that accusation, but filed a defamation suit against her for the sum of $50 million, and then went after certain newspapers that printed stories about him being a WB without any proof that he did this act. So everybody was coming from the media, the, uh, I, I, even, uh, I guess they were saying his, like, uh, you know, it, it affected his, his position in Hollywood too, I guess. It was a very messy situation, needless to say. But just as important, at the time, most people believed Amber Heard because she was the one crying out AB. But that's when things started to change. Number 4. The True Face of Amber Heard One of the main reasons that people believed when she first made her claims of AB was that she was female. That might sound basic, but most AB victims are female, and many don't come forward because they're too scared of the backlash. So when Amber Heard made her claim, a lot of people instinctively believed her. She did cheat on him? People are saying she she cheated on him. She also cheated on him with women. I'm sure that also guys and ladies. Damn. Because it followed the trope, if you will. But then JD started to make his case, and suddenly things weren't as simple as they appeared. Including JD having multiple pieces of evidence that Amber Heard was the AB and not himself. The biggest piece of evidence was an audio recording that JD had made after a particular argument where Heard had punched him. In the audio, you can hear her trying to rationalize what she did and that she, quote, didn't punch him but that she just hit him. Naturally, JD wasn't having this and rebuked her claims and even begged her to work this out because he couldn't take the AB anymore. So in a way, with that one piece of evidence, JD turned things around and that wasn't the only thing he had going for him. He had text messages from Amber Heard's parents that noted that not only was Johnny innocent via them noting how much they loved JD and were sorry that Amber was putting him through this, but Heard's father even admitted that she made the AB claims up at the behest of her lawyers so that she wouldn't be quote, homeless in 30 days. On top of all of that, Amber Heard claimed that she had made police calls to the LAPD about various AB attacks by JD, yet while on the stand, a rep from said police department noted that they had no records of any kind indicating that. Even one of Amber Heard's friends went onto the stand and noted that on a day that, quote, an AB happened, she saw her after it happened, and there wasn't a mark or injury on her. Despite all of this, though, Amber Heard refuses to admit guilt or say that JD didn't AB her. In fact, she's doubling down in certain ways and trying to stall in order to keep things deadlocked and thus no verdicts can be made. But why? Why put up such a defense? Why use these tactics? What does it get her? Number 3. Playing the Victim As cruel as it may sound, one of the biggest and most obvious reasons why Amber Heard is doing all she can to deny that she is the AB is so that she can play the victim. When you're a victim, you get sympathy. When you're a victim, you have people wanting to help you, build you up, support you when you can, and on and on. She doesn't want to lose that ability because then it would paint her in a very different light. And believe it or not, this tactic has worked in certain ways. 
because while she's been exposed via the evidence and testimony mentioned before, she's not been overtly punished by pretty much anyone other than the fans calling for her head. She's still maintaining her Hollywood presence, and barring something happening soon, she's still going to be a leading role in the next Aquaman movie. This actually brings us to the next reason why she's not admitting to her sins. Number two, admission equals punishment. Many people think the worst part of admitting to a crime is the fact that you're guilty and everyone knows it. But while that's part of the equation, that's not all of it. In fact, the real worst part is the punishment you get when you're the guilty party. There's a reason it's called crime and punishment. So what would the punishment be for Amber Heard? It'd be multi-tiered for the most part. The immediate aftermath would be that she would be reprimanded by the court and forced to pay $50 million in the defamation suit that JD has against her. Based on her own admissions and actions, she doesn't have that kind of money to give out for any reason even going so far as to promise to pledge the initial divorce money that she got from JD in their split to charity, and then not doing so. The other major punishment would be a career one. If she admitted to go and A being JD, and then maintaining this lie about her being A beat by him, Hollywood would react. Not the least of which by blackballing her like many other actors before her who've done terrible crimes and ensuring that she never gets a major role again. Fans are already asking for this punishment and even started a petition to get her removed from the role of Mira in the upcoming Aquaman 2, a petition mm. that has gotten nearly 2 million signatures. There's no doubt that this is a major part in her maintaining this front, but there's a more simple explanation for all the lies. Number one, who she really is. If you're looking for the most basic reason why Amber Heard is doing her best to maintain that she's innocent and a victim, it would be that the alternative is her admitting that she's a bad person. Think about all of the people in the last six years or so that have feigned innocence and stated that they were good people, the ones who were beloved no. by Hollywood for one reason or another. Wait, so was was Elon... I'm going to see if I can bring in... Um, I don't know if they... Uh, my mods, two of them. But was Elon with her? They had a relationship? I keep hearing Elon. So yeah, why is Elon... This is what I got to find out. Why is Elon testifying? Elon Musk, Amber Heard. See, I don't, I don't follow all this celebrity mumbo jumbo. Elon Musk will be a no show. So they're saying he might not show now. I saw a lot of articles saying that he is going to show, but then I see a Daily Mail article saying he's not going to show. Over allegations he had an affair with Amber Heard. What? So this is a mess. This whole thing is messy. This is why people watch this stuff, right? I guess. Other and then things like the hashtag Me Too movement and other testimony from people hurt by them come forth, and all of a sudden we saw who they really were. Harvey Weinstein, Kevin Spacey, Roseanne Barr, and more have all been doomed to never return to Hollywood because of their actions, and how they're viewed today is overall one of hatred. Not just that, people are sad no. that they ever supported such a person or watched an- Wait, but wait, what? Aquaman kid. <laughs> so they, okay, so they messed around, and somebody's, maybe, he might be the baby daddy? Oh God, I can't do this shit. <laughs> can't do this yo what <laughs> and enjoyed some of their shows or movies that's what amber heard doesn't want not even close she wants to be praised loved adored and on her terms while it's true that fans don't like her right now that's not exactly a concern to her she's even blasted the fan petition against her as having no basis in reality but if the studio heads her fellow actors more turn against her then all of a sudden she's exposed and she can't come back from that. That fear is more than enough to drive her to go and play the victim and continue to blame JD for everything. And there you have it everyone, a look at Amber Heard and the reasons why she's lying about JD and her AB against him. Do you think she'll ever come clean about what happened with her and JD? Do you think she'll continue to play the victim until she's forced to admit the truth? Or will she deny it until her dying day? Go ahead and let me know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe. And okay. So let me, all right, I want to do the depositions that I saw from, these are, these were done, let me see. I don't even want to say if I don't, I'm not sure. This one's 2016, and then Johnny Depp did one too. Let's listen to Amber first, and then Johnny, and I wanted to see this video, the audio. Okay, so there's like a let me see how long this is. Malicious and really just.
there's like a 40 minute video of them arguing we'll see if we want to if you guys want to listen to that or not but let me just do the deposition first from 2016 618 p.m. And just a clarification, we're not going to invoke the Fifth Amendment privilege, so you can re-ask that question if you like. Which question? Did you commit domestic violence against Johnny Depp? Any time prior to May 22, 2016, did you ever commit an act of domestic violence against Johnny Depp? Calls for a legal conclusion and irrelevant, but go ahead. Do you understand what I'm asking you? No. No? Yes, I understand what you're asking me. What? And prior to May 21, 2016, or May 22, 2016, is it your testimony that you never committed any act of what would be considered domestic violence against Mr. Depp? Calls for legal conclusion and irrelevant to these proceedings. Well, real quick, too, I just I found this little link yeah i guess they were like i don't know this is a picture of amber and uh elon denied they had an affair while she was married to johnny depp her and musk were just good friends hmm. i did my I, uh, no i did my best to defend myself and not not um get seriously hurt or be a doormat to whom this happens to all the time. Isn't it true, Ms. Hurd, that you previously <laughs> confessed and apologized to Johnny Depp for committing domestic violence against him? I'm going to object. Calls for legal conclusion, argumentative harassing. Isn't it true that you had previously told Johnny Depp that you had uh, hit him? I'm going to object. It's a different question. It, it's vague and ambiguous, vague as to time. Um, many times when we fought, um, well, not many times, uh, he hit me um, for a very long time before I ever um, I'm gonna picked up my arms. I'm going to object as non-responsive and move to strike. Ms. Hurd, I'd like you to listen to what I'm about to play. Would you do that? Do you recognize the voices on that tape? Mm -hmm. And who are the people on that tape? It's Johnny and I. Okay. And uh, is Johnny describing an act where uh, you uh, made a door go into his head? Mm. Objection, harassing, argumentative, mm. vague. I, um, I was trying to escape <laughs> from a room uh, where Johnny was attacking me. And in order to escape, I was trying to get onto the other side of the door, attempting to close the door, and he was attempting to get in despite my attempts to try and escape an assault. Isn't it true that on this tape that was just played, you tell Johnny Depp you're sorry? Yes. Okay. Did you just tell Johnny Depp in that recording that I remember hitting you as a response to the door thing? Yes, as he was trying to get into the door, I was trying, into the room, I was trying to escape in. He pushed the door into me, and I was trying to hit him by getting, out of, getting him out of the door to stay in the room. And you told him in that tape recording that you hit him, correct? Uh, I, don't, I, I don't know what words I used in that. You can play it back if you want, but I don't remember exactly how long. If you wouldn't mind, if you'll continue to listen. Okay. Sorry about hitting your head. 
Did you tell Johnny Depp at that time you were speaking to him that you were really sorry for hitting you, hitting him with the door, hitting him? I was, I think in that recording I made it very clear that I was sorry that the door hit him while he was trying to get into the room I was escaping, or attempting to escape into. Um, I will mark, uh, uh, um, excuse me, I'd like you to listen to the following tape. This is punched and we need to have Are they being exhibit. marked as exhibits? Yeah, mark as exhibit. We just mark P as the one we just played, okay. correct? Yes. Okay. Okay. Marking the next thing that I'm going to play to you uh, as Q. Would you listen to this, please? This is punching. That's one that says punching. Let's get one. Where's the desk? Yeah. You just kept going, you just kept going, you just kept going. Tried to close the door three times. You know, please, please, just don't let me out. Know, and then wait, and then, then I, 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 I accidentally, I swear, when I was trying to close the door, <laughs> I guess it stretched your toes. I might have said Steven was more believable. Steven. I don't know. So you told him in that uh, uh, excerpt that you hit him with the door but did not intend to hit him, correct? The recording speaks for itself. Did you say that? I, I, I said whatever I said in that recording. Okay. I don't, um, when you play it for me, it's hard for me to remember every single And that's a recording marked as exhibit the punching. Uh, Q. It was Q. Just played. Q. Would you continue to listen to exhibit Q? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Are these from the same uh, day? I, I, I reacted, but it, this whole, the door thing, I, I, remember, I, I never did that. That was in on purpose. I might have done it on accident. Okay. But, Let's say that was an accident. I then stood up. I don't even know if I said, I, mean, I might have said, like, what the f***, you know, whatever. Because I've just been hit in the head with the corner of the door. I'm so sorry, I did not. I'm sorry. I, I remember hitting you as a response to the door thing. Mm. That's exactly what I just told us. Mm. Mm. And I'm really sorry about hitting you with the door or hitting your head. It did not mean to ignore. You don't need to hit me in the head with the door, but you meant to I did punch me in the jaw. I meant to hit you. I, I, I did not do this thing with the door either. Stephanie says Amber is totally guilty. I've studied this case and you can tell she's acting right now. Johnny Depp is innocent. Um, I, I thought about, I don't know. I was thinking I could open up the line if somebody that's followed this wants to like give a little or just point out certain things. I could open up the line if somebody knows it in and out. Um, I'm going to play Johnny's part next to his the. the the position and I found a interesting excerpt from this article as well that explains a little bit of um the lawsuit. I do remember I did mean to hit you. So that you didn't mean the door? No, God, no, I didn't I the I didn't okay, I'm sorry. I so on the tape you tell Johnny Depp that you did mean to hit him. Objection. That's argumentative and it misstates what the recording mm. was. And it also misrepresents, misrepresents okay. uh, what actually happened, which is him trying to get into a room. I'm trying to keep him out of it. And then he 
runs the door over my toes, trying to get into the room. I try to push him out of it, which is what the hit is referred to. And Johnny, whenever he was injured or touched at all, was re referred to it in these ways of punching or clocked or whatever. And whether you didn't discuss it with him or not, the last thing you do in, in talking to him afterwards or trying to reconcile with him is to get into what the definition of those words mean to him. Just say what So happened. I just never, I never even addressed it. He would, if he was ever pushed, it was, it was a quote, he called it a, a cold clock. I mean, it's just very dramatic. Isn't about it him. true, Ms. Heard, that in September of 2015, you punched Johnny Depp in the face with a closed fist? Mm. Bro, her mannerisms is crazy. And how she's just like chewing up whatever she's eating. And now she chokes up when in reply to her question. Or she's just doing all this stuff for the camera. I've never watched these videos, but my first time seeing them. I hit, I hit Johnny one time when he... Bruh. <laughs> no, you answer the question. Please stop whispering because it's it's distracting over here. It's your team. team. No, no I was no these to two this, actually. I can't hear them. I hear, I them. hear them. So please answer the question. Yes or no? Did you ever no. punch Molly? What's up? You want to call in? <laughs> Do you know this whole thing? You want to break this down a little bit? Have you been following this, or did you just jump into this now? People go crazy. <gasps> no, Miss Molly. No, don't take her call. No. <laughs> Johnny Depp with a closed fist in the history of your relationship with Johnny. Answer it however you feel you wish to. Thank you. Thank you. Don't do it again, no. Do One it. time, um, Johnny was hitting me, and he was hitting me hard and repeatedly, and I was screaming. Security walks in, and they don't do anything about it. And there, he... He, 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 he makes this motion uh, when Jerry Judge yells boss or uh, Sean, I can't remember who it was. And, um, and my, all we had was a little bit of separation and my sister runs down the stairs. Uh, it's a, uh, we're on a landing in between two flights of stairs. Miss Heard, I must interrupt you, you because you I've can't. asked you a yes then or no withdraw question. Your, withdraw your question then because Ms. she's Heard, answering. Miss Heard, prior to today's date, um, had, had any time, has Johnny, have you ever hit Johnny Depp? How are you aware? You've already asked and she's already answered and you interrupted her. Ms. Hurd, have you ever hit Johnny Depp prior to today? Judge yes. Vegas no. of times. Everyone on this side of the room, please. Objection 352. It's not relevant to this domestic violence pursuit. Overruled. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. Answer it however you want to, including the way you were just... If I'm you asking for a yes or no answer. You don't have to answer it the way she wants you to answer it. He was about to push my sister down the stairs. She was attempting to break us up. I am protective over my baby sister. When he laid hands on her, I don't know what I did, but I know I jumped in between the actions that I saw could lead to a fatal injury to my sister. She was standing on the top of a flight of the stairs and she has never hurt anyone in her life and she does not deserve to be pushed down the flight of stairs. And it looked like she was about to be. And I would have done what anybody who has a child or a sister would have done. I acted defensively in her life. I saw her standing on top of a flight of his stairs and trying to interrupt a fight in between him and I. Ms. I don't know what part of my body I, I put in between me and him and, and her, but I would have done anything. I would have done anything to prevent her from being pushed on a flight of stairs. Mm. Let me give the we're going to play the Johnny Depp one. I sent the link to Molly on Streamlabs, not Streamlabs, StreamYard. I don't have the video set up yet. I'm going to try to fix it tonight. I got to get my other camera to put it alongside because the way this whole thing is set up, if I just move this to the left, you guys are going to get like a bunch of uh, feed or, oh, actually he's not doing it right now, but it's going to look all jacked up. So I will get that fixed um soon but if she wants to call talk a little bit about what she's doing or i can just give her the phone or i can just call her directly either or is fine actually 
Um, let me read this article real quick. Which one is it? I lost it. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. In his lawsuit filed in March 2019, Mr. Depp denied that he was a domestic abuser and said Ms. Hurd's accusations. I guess I could show it to you guys too. This will be short. Um, Ms. Hurd's accusations were an elaborate hoax intended to boost her public persona. One that succeeded in making her a darling of the Me Too movement. Hashtag Me Too. Mr. Depp has said Ms. Hurd had been the perpetrator of abuse. So he's saying she's the one. She's saying that he's the one accusing her, uh, accusing her in court papers of punching, kicking him and throwing objects, including a vodka bottle and oh, a vodka bottle that he had shattered on the countertop and severed the tip of one of his fingers, which in this video, he's going to talk about that. Um, Mr. Depp brings this defamation action to clear his name. The actor's lawsuit said Miss Heard said in court papers that she has never attacked Mr. Depp except in self-defense or in defense of her younger sister, which is kind of like what we heard her, I guess, talking about now. And that Mr. Depp severed the tip of his finger when he smashed a phone against the wall during a violent outburst. I have never physically abused anyone, she wrote. I know what that does to people. In the trial in Fairfax County Circuit Court, the trial in Fairfax County Circuit Court is expected to last about six weeks that's why I kind of wanted to do this live stream too, to see and kind of gauge. I don't know if you guys are interested in watching that here on this channel. We could try it out and see what happens. Um, like I said, I usually don't do celebrity stuff, but this, this is circle around domestic violence. Um, so it could last up to six weeks beginning with jury selection. The proceedings will be televised all, but guaranteeing that they will become a public spectacle. Both parties are expected to testify. Oof. In addition, Ms. Hurd's list of potential witnesses includes several celebrities, among them Elon Musk, James Franco, and the evidence the two sides intend to put forward includes text messages between the couple, medical records, and surveillance footage from Los Angeles where they live together. Uh, Ms. Hurd exchanged texts with Mr. Musk about her marriage and that they were about her marriage that they were used as evidence in the British case. And she said in that trial that Mr. Franco saw the bruises on her face after an altercation that is in dispute. All right. Kind of a little gist. I mean, it seems like it's going to be interesting. I don't know. I honestly, I, I didn't. Well, let me see if she's here yet. Showing you. I had no idea that there was so much to this. I just thought it was going to be the others. Oh, Molly, we get Molly in. Hey, Molly, how you doing? I'm great. How are you, Ron? Good. Let me fix you up here. I'm going to put you on the screen so people can see you. Sure. Even though I'm not there, sure. or I can make myself there, kind of like boom. How about that? That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm actually packing my things right now, and I'm heading to that courthouse uh, tomorrow in the AM. Um, Johnny Depp is not expected to show up. Uh, I guess uh, mainly it'll be the jury selection tomorrow from what I've been told. And then I have to be there at least 2 a.m. on Tuesday. So the judge is only allowing 100 spectators inside. Wow. Absolutely no cell phones. No cell phones? Oh, shit. Yeah, so I'm actually better off outside with Vinnie Politan and everybody else that's coming, that huge caravan. Um, yeah. I did get lucky. I, I, I have a, a supporter that lives 10 minutes away and her, her boyfriend has a law office across the street from that courthouse where we can actually park so we can oh nice camp out or do whatever we have i um you asked earlier if i had followed this i did follow it last year we talked about it on my on my molly Bolightly channel yeah. when they went to court in um london and he lost the first time so um, I I do believe that <laughs> you, you know want to know something. It doesn't matter what I think. It doesn't matter what we think. That was their marriage. But if you don't know a lot about her, the ex-wife, um, the reason why I just say the ex-wife is because several channels were taken down a couple of times by her lawyer. Really? Yes. Ooh. So be careful with the name A.H. 
Mm. Sometimes some people call her Amber Turd. Some people call her um, the star, the starlet. Umbrella guy calls her the starlet. I call her the turd burglar. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, no, no. I'm just going to go down. I, I have no expectations. Right. At all. Would I do anything to see Elon Musk? Yes. Is this <laughs> going to be a star studded celebrity thing? It could it be. It could be. Yeah, it, it could. could. And that's sad because, you know, we got all this, you know, like you said, domestic violence. But if this woman is lying, Mel, if you look through these videos, she strategically places her cell phone in so many different uh, places and times in their marriage where she it's basically. Oh, yeah. To record. Right. Yo, yeah. Do you know? OK, the one I glanced at one video, maybe you can. There's the one video where he's like throw something and it smashes. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. And she recorded it. And it's like she had the phone placed there. What was that about? I, let me see if I can find it. She was setting she was setting her she set her sights high and a little too high. Um she blames him for everything. In fact, when she first met uh Johnny Depp and he wanted to court her, she told her friends the friends have stated uh, in court and depositions that she called him an old geezer mm. uh, that she, she was grossed out by just horrible things. But the more you, you, you find out about her and how she used him, she had several of her friends mm. moving into his, no. uh, Oh yeah. <laughs> expecting to pay the bill for all of her friends. Yeah. She was bad. And then also don't forget the seven million dollars charity. She claims she dropped seven million dollars to a children's charity. Right. And it, there's no record that she ever gave it. So this girl is, Shit. yeah, she's she's, in my opinion. Wow. What I would say is everybody just you know calm down, chill out, see what's going to happen, and just kind of stick to the highlights of the day. I don't, uh, but I really do believe that she's going to lose. You think she's going to lose, yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's, she's, she's not a, she's, you'll see it. The more, the more you listen, she's eating beef jerky. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. But she's how, doing damage control now. How she, long are you going to be over there? Um, it, it's, it's going to be up to six weeks. I'm two hours away. I'm only two hours away. Um, so I'm going to head out there tomorrow and then just see kind of okay. where it's out. Yeah. Because I mean, I have a, I have a husband and a child and a dog, so I got, I got to be home, but um, I'm, I'm going to just see how it goes. Right. It's probably going to be, I guess, a slow start, I guess, for the jury selection. And then I wonder how long that'll take. You think it'll take more than one day jury selection or I guess it depends. I I, know. I don't know what to think or expect. I was like, you want to know something? If I go there with no or very low expectations, then I might be surprised. True. True. And there are people that have heavily covered this case, I mean, extensively, and they're glad that I'm going. And they're like, okay. you know what? Can you call in? Can you do this? Can you right, right. heads up? And I'm like, you know what? I can do that. I can totally do that. I mean, they're in other countries. They're across the, you know, they're, they're across, you know, America. So, I think it's cool that you're you're doing this. I mean, this is yeah. I'm curious. Cool. I'm kind of curious. Like you said, I, I kind of don't have much expectations. Just gonna see what happens, you know. Uh, and and I just realized, like before I did the stream, like I took like an hour before coming on to kind of read a little bit of the articles, and that's when I realized, like, holy shit, there's a lot to this. Like, I'm not even gonna be able to understand it's a lot. in one sitting. Like, you really have to go through all this shit. It. She was. He. There's so many audios now. Yeah. Where he's pleading with her. Amber, I don't understand why you're doing this to me. I love you so much. And she is on a 10 and she's like, F you, bye bye. And he's like, please, please stop. Why are you doing this? So he pleads and, and I do believe that he loved her at one point, but a sneak is a sneak. And she's has been shady since day one. And if she gets blacklisted from Hollywood, it's her fault. Right. And Did Johnny get blacklisted? Johnny got kind of... He, he kind of got, he kind of, yeah. everyone started thinking he was a wife beater because mm. of his claims. And you know what she did to his finger, right? So, so what what she do? Like, was it that she threw something? 
I, b- I believe. I must uh, cut it off. I saw the pictures, but I guess I can't show here. It was, it was his finger. Um, the the more you look at, um, I would follow Mel or reach out to the umbrella guy. I mean, umbrella? he's got everything, but he's also, if you pay attention, he doesn't say her name very often. So sometimes mm. with the cases, like with me, with the Chris Watts case, yeah. I got contacted by North Korea's lawyer, right. Nicole Kessinger. Uh-huh. I got contacted by her. I'm oh. not going to mention her name. That's why I call her North Korea. And now this is why I call her Turd Burglar. Wow. <laughs> Thanks for having me, man. All Mel. right. Well, yeah. Well, thank you for stopping by. And, uh, I'll check in. Yeah, check I'll in. Check we'll in. see how it goes. All Maybe right. Can... Bye, guys. Thank Bye. you. Bye. All right. Take care. Okay. All right. So that was Molly. Thank you for stopping in. Filling in some of the gap. Yeah, I don't know, man. I like I said, I, I kind of started realizing like, oh, there's a bunch of shit to this case. I mean, I guess we could kind of just learn together. And and I was thinking I'll at least do it for a week. And if it's interesting enough and people like it, we just do the whole thing. And we can kind of just learn. I mean, everything's gonna come out in court. We're probably gonna even hear things that has never come out, maybe in court. This defamation trial. Uh so let me play this because this I think he actually talks about the finger oh and you can check out her channel let me just plug her by the way too um smiley go lightly on youtube i think she has two channels smiley go lightly. okay i'll put the link in the description but if you want to check out her content you can go there on youtube smiley go lightly uh so let me play this basically i had a pretty nasty injury uh uh um, that i actually i i i had to um protect her at the time and so i said that it was caught in the door when he's he's huge so i think he's saying he made up a story to protect her but what he's saying is that that's not what really happened. She actually cut his finger, allegedly. According doors at this house, that wasn't the case at all. Um, she she smashed. Uh, she threw a vodka bottle at me, and my my hand was uh, resting on the marble of the bar like that, and the first bottle went. <laughs> just past my ear and the second one was a larger bottle and she threw it from about this distance and it smashed into the bar which and and this this finger who I now call little Richard uh, <laughs> um, was was uh, the, the the tip of the finger was severed and the the all the all the bone in here was uh, completely shattered. I mean, it's, it looked like Vesuvius. And then I got infections. I, I, I ended up with MRSA twice, so it was very complicated. Mm. MRSA. I was trying to just get the finger back, you know, um, <laughs> and then and, and deal with the insanity of having had my finger chopped off by, by this woman that I was married to. I don't recall any of that stuff I was uh, uh, when I was down or when the film was or when I was off uh, not being able to work because of the um, severity of the injury I had to go back to Los Angeles and have surgery um, so most mm. of the time mm. Samar says it came out he told his doctor it got caught in the door and he said yeah right What I was dealing with was just uh, recuperating, or, you know, or just you know, I didn't want to lose the finger because uh, MRSA, the MRSA uh, infection, is really mm, yeah. quite evil, um, and I ended up with it twice. So I was really just worried about losing a finger or an arm or story about the bottle, and then um, Amber, you know apparently created some story about you punching a wall or something like that? She says that I did it myself, yeah. By punching a wall. Just another way to hurt you. 
Uh, where I wonder, have the full versions of this been released, or is it just like these several minutes clips? I didn't see anything. I mean, I did a brief browse. It would be interesting to see the whole thing. I tell you, uh, I'd like to see reactions from scientists. I mean, and physicians who are you know familiar with kind of you know uh, this sort of trauma, this sort of uh, thing, because I'd I'd love to see her explain how someone hits a wall and if they put their fist through it that means that it's it's drywall or something it's not well, you know. if you're going to go barnaby jones on me i may go back at you with quincy yeah that's all i see of that but that both of them definitely have different demeanors uh in their depositions uh oh there's another thing i want to show you guys an audio clip let's see so, and then I guess tomorrow, since it's jury selection, I mean, I don't know. It, I don't know how interesting that's going to be. Probably not. But uh, I guess we'll run it and see what happens. Yeah, I feel like all the trust. So this is audio between um, Johnny and Amber. And uh, Lauren had sent me this. Let me take a little listen. We've got to change how we do things. And I want to trust you. And I feel like all the trust is gone. All the fucking trust is gone in the relationship because you keep splitting. I'm not going to be in a physical fucking altercation don't. with you. Then don't. You fucking hit me last night. You fucking... What about all the other times you split? It, come on, you cannot act like that. It's about that. It's well, not... Well, on a plane, I can't split. No, and you hit back. So don't act like you don't fucking participate. I pushed you. Hmm. I'm not going to get into the details of that fight. You and I both know that you split when there is no physical violence involved. And that you do it at, me, like at the very beginning of fights these days. And if you split and you go into a different room and you don't actually leave that house, it does nothing but perpetuate the fight. How does him leaving perpetuate the fight? Is that what she means when, she, when he says split? Split meaning leave? So is she saying she gets angry? She splits because she beats him. I, I've, oh my God, I've been in situations. Mel, read my text. What? I don't know what else. What is there to read there? Is there other message? Um, I just remember situations, which I'm not going to say. I, I mean, I don't know. When you go to leave, I've been there. That's when things get the most crazy. Like they don't want you to leave. I don't know what it is. If they want to be in control, they're afraid of you leaving them or whatever. And so to hear her say this shit, uh, Kind of like, what? Let me just take it back for a second. I just want to hear this part again. You cannot act like that. It's about that. It's well, not. Well, on a plane, I can't split. No, and you hit back. So don't act like you don't fucking participate. I pushed you. I'm not going to get into the details of that fight. You <laughs> I already got a text message about Molly. <laughs> People like freaking out. Ah! And I both know that you split when there is no physical violence involved and that you do it. I believe in too. Even if there's not physical violence, if I know that you're violent, you're crazy as shit, you're unbalanced, you're unhinged. And I already know that this little argument is going to lead us to the next place of physical whatever. Yeah, I'm leaving before the things escalate. She's over here like trying to argue <laughs> that like you're leaving before it even gets physical. Like, how dare you? And meet like at the very beginning of fights these days. And if you split and you go into a different room and you don't actually leave that house, it does nothing but perpetuate the fight. What? Really, when you split on me, how do you feel when I leave you? When I split, I'd, be like, I'd be like, thank God she left. Oh my God. I was going to the other the room, you said. And getting me a room, I mean, getting another room in a hotel is just the same thing. What do you say when a scammer asks you for your Medicare oh my number? God. I don't fall for scams. I'm, I'm nobody's fool. Not a shot. I'll Learn to detect me. and prevent Medicare fraud at medicare.gov slash fraud. Two commercials? When did I get another room at hotel? You uh, text Stephen or, or Nathan in Toronto to get you another room. You don't even know what you're talking about. You still haven't even told me what it is. So they just cut it. I don't know. What, what do we miss from that audio? They got cut. 
it is, but run with it. You I have told you what it is. No, you haven't. I said to Travis, I said, Good. no, I said to you, hey, Careful. tell Travis what just happened. You oh, you careless. told me to do it. You yeah. told me to. You said, go do that. I said, no, t tell him what just happened. And I lied. And that you punched me in the You're fucking right. thing and you, you in the face. Out. And you said, no, fucking, no, I didn't. What the fuck are you talking about? And I, I watched you lie. And then I, I didn't I punch you, and by the I, way. You, I'm sorry that I didn't uh, you, uh, uh, punch hit you. Me across the face in a proper slap, but I was hitting you. It was not punching you. Babe, you're not punched. Don't tell me what it feels like to be punched. Oh, you know, he's in a lot of slaps. It's been around a long time. I know. Yeah, no, I when you fucking have a closed fist. You get punched. You got hit. I'm sorry I hit you like this, but I did not punch you. I did not fucking... So they're saying the full audience on YouTube. Is this... All right, let me ask you this. Uh, who, who said that? Uh, Serenity. Is this the full audio? Let me see. I pulled up a link. I want to double check. There is a long, like, let me see. Okay, I'm gonna show you this here. Oh my God. And you tell me, Prime Talk has audio of 46 minutes. Is this like the whole thing? I met you in a trajectory. I met you never self calm. You never self soothe. You are never the one to throw the olive branch. We could listen to that. I'll finish playing this clip, but uh, we can listen to this one. But this is about 40 minutes. You played just snippets. It's hours and hours. Oof. Photos and court documents in public domain. Okay. I say an email, you might find it interesting. All right. See, the thing is, too, we can, yeah, during the week, depending on what's happening, you guys can send me links and stuff. We can go through some of the things together if you're interested, you know. I'll check my email. I'm going to finish playing this clip and, and then we'll see about the 40 minute clip. We can do that and then call it a hmm, full unedited audio. Somebody sent me another clip. Okay, Eagle. This, let's see. Oh, two hours. Oh, Lord. Two hours. The full unedited, uncut, uninterrupted audio exclusive. Oh Lord, this is messy. Uh, let me, let me, <laughs> do we do the two hour one? Two hour one's a commitment or the 40 minute one, but is the 40 minute one actually part of this? This clip here says, let me just read this real quick. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. And the description details, it says, hi there. This video includes the full unedited, uncut, uninterrupted two hour recording made by Johnny Depp and Amber Heard during their marriage, September, 2015. This recording is being used as evidence in the Johnny Depp versus the Sun UK libel case, libel case. Depp decided to sue the Sun for publishing an article where they branded him a wife beater and abusing his wife, his then wife, Amber Heard. When the cut up slash edited 46 minute version. Okay, so I think this other video. Oh, so this is the 46 minute one. So there's an actual two hour. What? Oh, I think the two hours, the full thing, maybe. Uh, okay, so when the cut up slash edited 46 minute version leaked in January by Depp's team. It was made to portray a certain narrative and was used as propaganda. It was leaked, leaked six months ago before the trial began and used to lead people into potential jurors to believe that it was somehow an official piece of evidence, which it was not. It was incomplete. Hmm. Okay. All right, let's finish this little mini excerpt, this little clip. Thank you. I fucking was hitting you. you can't I don't know me. what the motion of my actual <laughs> hand was, but you're fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. <laughs> How are your toes? Catherine's like, how long do you want to oh. be? How, what am I supposed to do? Do this? How are your toes? I, I'm not sitting here bitching about it, am I? You are. Oh, That's you, the difference you between me those. and you. You're a fucking baby. Because you... Sama, you want me to call you, Alvin? You have any thoughts on this whole situation, or, or are you good? I can call you right now if you if you want to talk a little bit. <laughs> start you physical are fights. Such a baby. Because Call you, the fuck off, because you started physical fights. I did start a physical fight. Yeah, you did. So I had because, to get the fuck out of there. Yes, 
You did. So you did the right thing, the big thing. The, you know what? You're admirable. Every single time. What, what, what's your excuse? When there's not a physical fight, then what's the excuse there? You're still being admirable, right? Just by running away. And you can sit here and, and call me names, but you get called a name, and what do you do? That's the last insult. You're a baby. You are a hypocrite. You don't do anything that you actually do. You expect from people what you okay. can't give them. In your car right now. Um, I'm telling you right now, get back in your car. Oh, you gonna fucking shoot me? Oh my god, what was that? Yeah, okay, so let's say let's say the two hour clip, I'm not gonna play it now. I just I just wanted to get a feel feeling uh for what you guys think and just to let you guys know I'm gonna be streaming it. The two hour clip, we, maybe we can do it tomorrow. During the jury selection. Cause you know what too? It, we don't have to cover everything right now. Uh Bonnie says second second on YouTube has a two hour version. Okay, so the two hour version, I'm gonna save that. Uh Thank you to Eagle for sending that. Uh, okay, two hour version. I'm gonna save it. Uh, by the way, there is an email that you can email me at well as well. Not just ikimel at ikimel.com. There's team at ikimel.com, and I have two people kind of helping me out. And so, if you have like story suggestions or even like clips for the live streams and things like that, you can email team at ikimel.com. If I'm taking long to get back, because I have a bunch of emails I haven't even checked, gotten back. I also have Facebook DMs that are just way behind. So team at ikinmel.com uh, if you want something to get through faster. Um, save it for the jury. Yeah, yeah, I think we should do that. We should do that. Um, I didn't get to see Alvin's response. I don't know if he, or he didn't, maybe he didn't see it. He didn't hear me. There was this video too. Um, she she spoke at the women's march too. Apparently, twenty twenty. Not only realizing the tremendous power we possess when we come together, but to do hmm. so with the unprecedented strength and power we've acquired through our combined. Com where where can we find information about the poop on the bed? I know uh, they sent me a tweet that has the literal poop. <laughs> But is there some information behind that? Like anybody knows what's with, what's up with the poop? I can probably do a little Google search too. And relentless dedication. We are here to make sure we recognize all the power we have when we come together, all the progress we made in doing so, and to recognize how much we still have to go to see that full equality. That's Full equality is a reality for all of us in the home. And I'm saying she did an, did she do an apology video on IG live? Like I was trying to find that, but I couldn't, uh, it says Amber Lily Rose speaks. Okay. And at work in our schools and in the boardrooms, in our pay and our physical safety, in public and in private, in principle and in practice, no matter our age, our race, creed, color, or class. He does. A few years ago, I, like you, awoke to a world that was starting to catch flame. It started slowly. I arose from my bed one day, a few years into my own private battle, and hmm. I smelled the smoke. I had for years walked with tired and weary feet into battle every single day, alone, privately, longing for a different kind of world than the one in which I used to live. One that reminded me that despite all that I had done and fought for, all I had said. Oh, it was something else. Okay. Lauren says it was an apology to Australia because she smuggled her dog into the country illegally. Oh. Uh. For 
survived both before and through my very public, heart-wrenchingly lonely battle for justice, that I, a woman, would never truly see it. That my voice didn't, couldn't fully count. That despite what it took for me to stand up and finally raise my voice and to speak my truth, it didn't really matter. The deck was stacked against me in ways Page I didn't even begin to imagine. I learned what many women inherently know before they reach adult adulthood, that in my speaking out, instead of aid, support. Right? I think it seems like she likes the attention. Maybe this is what her plot or plan was the entire time, was to kind of get this whole sympathy thing and, you know, speaking in all these women engagements, women's march, and being a victim. Respect. I would be met instead with hostility, skepticism, and shame. Hmm. My motives would be questioned, my truth ignored, and I would do so alone. That world reminded me daily, despite the privileged life I lived as a white woman in the entertainment industry, despite the tremendous luxuries enjoyed by many of us women and otherwise traditionally mm. marginalized groups in the Western developed world, despite all the steps taken and earned by generations before us, that I was oh. never to be anything but a discreetly silenced second class citizen that I, in having stood up against the time-honored legacy of a male-dominated power structure, somehow forfeited uh. that perceived privilege in exchange for a seemingly endless life of relentless struggle, denial, shame, and aloneness. That's a woman to avoid. When you hear them talking like that? Mm. That is the price many of us know we have to make in raising our voices. And that's why so many of us don't speak up. We know intuitively, long before we, before we are old enough to vote, that kind of freedom isn't really ours unless we accept that condition. That freedom from us comes at all too high a price our voice and i for one think silence and acceptance is simply too damn high a price to pay <laughs> i'm not gonna play the Along whole thing with democracy we get the oh she's actually of i think it's almost over actually yes but oh who's that is that hillary that's not it <laughs> freedom of speech from the Greeks who said parhesia which means not simply freedom of speech per se but rather fearless speech the freedom to speak truth to power freedom to speak truth to power And to me, is that movement still around the Me Too thing? It's like it's like they died out or something, right? Was it just like a phase or something? What are they What are they doing now? I haven't really heard too much of the the Me Too thing. Seems like it was kind of like a phase for a little while or something. That is freedom. That is equality. When we no longer have to forfeit our dignity, our respect, or our safety in order to do just that. Then a flame caught, was ignited, Man, bro. and it caught the world on fire. And I am here today in that <laughs> to join my voice with That's yours deep. in recognizing that times are changing. 
and they are changing because we stepped out of the shadows and into the light and lifted our voices into a movement, mm. recognizing that we together, standing shoulder to shoulder, comprise a vast, unstoppable force for change. No longer willing or able to accept silence and no longer willing or able to pay the cost for anything less. Oh my God, yeah. it's pretty bad. You, like me, see yourself not as a victim. It's kind of interesting to see this man because, like I said, I have not followed this thing at all, at all. I just literally just started reading a little bit today. I've always heard a little murmurs, kind of, and but to see this clip, you can really see the the you know it's the, the mindset. It's like she was really into this movement thing. That maybe this whole thing could have been a ploy, a big come up. I mean, they're clearly toxic for each other, I mean, but. To this world, but rather as a member of it, of a growing class of women, people committed to our place in the fight for a new one. You, like me, awoke to a world that was and is changing and was changing fast. I woke up to the smell of smoke and the sound of voices. I walked with tired feet into the stream of moving cries <laughs> for change, Sorry. chanting a battle cry that lingers still today, a song of a new era. It's about to be over. Hang in there, guys. Hang in there. <laughs> this is the song of a new generation of voices, minds, of Ball people, movement. <laughs> daughters of a generation of equality. We have inherited far too much to be resigned to accept injustice and together we are far too strong to excuse it any longer. I want to thank you all today for being here and being a part of changing our world. I want to thank every one of you who wakes up and looks for the flame and the sounds of chanting oh. and thinks, yes, fuck yes, enough is enough, time's up, me too, our lives matter. It is worth fighting for a world. Did she say all lives matter or our lives matter? If she said all lives, you know, they cancel you. Me too, our lives oh, matter. our lives. It is <laughs> worth fighting for a world where things are better, where things are more fair for everyone. Oh my gosh. People like who I am honored to stand here and welcome to the stage next. West Hollywood Mayor Pro Tempore Lindsay Horvath, a warrior for civic and social justice. She has spearheaded policies to better serve residents of all ages and created all right. women's issues. Mayor Pro Tempore Haver is a leader on women's issues, leading a global campaign to end violence against women and girls. She also champions for LGBTQ rights and represented the city of West Hollywood in the National Equality right. March in Washington, D.C. In short, she's a badass. <laughs> and she is working tirelessly to make our communities safer, healthier, and more All inclusive. Right. Let's hear it again for Amber. Woohoo. All right. Let's let's read about this poop situation. Poop gate. Uh, pause this. I kind of want to try to not <laughs> put this on the screen. So. Wait, is there a news article? Did they really cover this in the news? Is there a news clip about the poop? Let me just read it. Page six. All right. So Johnny Depp's disgusted maid described in court Tuesday how she found poop in the bed the actor shared with the with then wife Amber Heard and then had the photos to prove it. Depp has accused Heard or one of her friends of pooping in the bed as a prank after the actress 30th birthday party, April 21st, 2016, following a fight between the pair. Housekeeper Hilda Vargas said in a written statement submitted to the British court that she 
arrived at the celebrity's couple's penthouse around 3 p.m. the day after the party to tidy up and heard another cleaning lady call her in horror from the bedroom. She was pointing to the bed and told me that she couldn't believe it, what she found. Vargas referring to the other maid. I pulled back, sorry, I pulled back the top sheet on the bed and saw a large pile of feces. I was horrified and disgusted. It was clear to me that this was human feces. I knew that the feces could not have come from either Mr. Depps. But how, how do you know that Mr. Depps? Oh, the dog. Okay, Mr. Depps from his herds, two small dogs. Pistol and Boo. Boo Boo. Hold on a second. Let me just scroll past this. They got like a HD picture of this poop. They got like three, <laughs> like really close up pictures. Um, all right. I have cleaned up after those dogs many times and their feces are much smaller. Further, I had never, I have never known those dogs to defecate in the bed. The maid testified amid Depp's libel case against Britain's The Sun, which called the actor a wife beater in 2018 article. Heard was, Heard has said Depp, re oh my God. Heard has said, Depp repeatedly assaulted her during their doomed 15 month marriage while the actor has denied the claims. Okay. But Vargas, who has worked as Depp's housekeeper in Los Angeles for more than 30 years, added in her testimony about the poop incident. Those feces were fresh from the night or from earlier the morning. From the morning earlier. The Spanish speaking maid, through a translator, said that the incident showed a lack of respect and that she took the photos because she was angry. Vargas added that May 24, 2016, three days after Depp is accused of tossing Heard's iPhone at her during a brawl and striking her right eye, leaving her bruised, the actress approached her at the home and told her the poop photos had destroyed her marriage. I was very nervous, and so I apologized. Even I did not believe that their marital problems were my fault or that I had anything had done anything wrong the housekeeper said i also told miss Hurd that the feces were there that there was nothing i could do miss Hurd argued with me saying that there were no feces in the bed i again said that the feces were there and they were large and smelled awful miss Hurd continued to disagree with me but i wanted to end the conversation as quickly as possible she has a bad temper in my opinion and i did not want to want her to yell at me a spokesperson or spokeswoman for the herd issue a spokeswoman for Heard issued a statement Tuesday about the poop incident, denying that the actress or any of her pals were responsible and suggested Depp might have been the one to do it himself. Who laid the poop on the bed? This accusation is completely untrue and has been designed purely to humiliate Miss Heard. So is this going to come up, I wonder, in the new defamation trial as well? Are we going to hear about the poop? As the evidence... In court showed Mr. Depp discussed committing such a prank for years beforehand, and it plays to his lavatorial lava lava and abusive sense of humor. So they're saying he did it, and there's um, Amber's people are saying that Depp did it, and Depp's uh, maid saying that she did it. Interesting, I guess. So there's one more video I guess we could play and then we'll head out, I guess, for today. Oh, let me get the super chats real quick. There's this infamous video which it says Amber Heard filming Johnny Depp smashing kitchen cupboards. This was uh 2020 when it came out. Um Let me see. Super chat. Okay, Jackie Jacks, thank you for the members chat. Hi, I got that days of our lives vibe. These lawyers need to show. Uh, Brandy, thank you so much for the super chat. Emma, thank you for being a member for three months. Hey, I think that was it. Can't believe this made news. What, <laughs> what is this world all about? Defamation or defecation? <laughs> um, all right, let's play this. I don't know if they're going to claim the video for this. They might. I don't know. Because they claimed the original video. So I'll just play it small. She, she'll wait. <laughs> um, and this is what kind of Molly was talking about. How, like, I guess this woman over here is like always setting up the phone, like just, you know, conveniently or whatever to start recording, you know, whatever. Ah! Motherfucker! Motherfucker! What happened? 
So like making sure it's in, in view and everything's being recorded. He was drunk in the kitchen early morning, so sad. Defamation of defecation. <laughs> Something happened to you this morning? Mm. I don't think so. Um, no, that's the oh, thing. God. You want to see crazy? I'll give you fucking crazy. And I guess he, he didn't see the phone? I guess he's just in a rage and he's not see and I guess he has his sunglasses on. He's over here like changing positions, getting the angle right, getting his face in there. Mm. Crazy. Have you drunk this whole thing this morning? Oh, he got this guy. He got this oh, going. Sure. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Oh, now he found it. Okay. Oh, so this is the incident they're talking about with the phone being thrown, I guess. Sneak that shit on me, nope. motherfucker. I didn't. You were smashing shit. Oh, bye. Oh. Yes. Got it. Okay. Well, I guess that's it for now, man. Appreciate you guys joining for the little, I don't know what you call it, discovery video, preliminary video. Clearly, it's a mess. Um, it, it might be interesting. Seems like it might be an interesting trial. Potentially messy. I, I wonder how the attorneys are going to be, too, because sometimes the attorneys make the trial everything. They can make it really entertaining. And I'm sure they got to have top of the line lawyers. Oh, yeah, she did. Uh, somebody said something about Instagram. She did post something on Instagram. Yeah, let me do that real quick. Let's do that. Let's do that. This was posted a day ago. Amber Heard. It says, I'm going offline for the next several weeks, as you may no, I'll be in Virginia where I face my ex-husband, Johnny Depp, in court. Johnny's suing me for an op-ed I wrote in the Washington Post. So if you were here at the beginning of the stream where I butchered the reading, we talked about this Washington Post um, situation. I mean, there was the other situation with the son. Um, this is the donation... This is the donation that um, I think uh, Molly was talking about. We covered that as well. Um, but yeah, the whole thing around this is the Washington Post, in which I recounted my experience of violence and domestic abuse. I never named him. Rather, I wrote about the price women pay for speaking out against men in power. I will continue to pay that price, but hopefully when this case concludes, I can move on and so can Johnny. I have always maintained a love for Johnny and it brings me great pain to have to live out the details of our past life together in front of the world. At this time, I recognize the ongoing support I've been fortunate to receive throughout the, these years. And in the coming weeks, I will be leaning on it more than ever. Love always Amber. So, and she has, looks like she got support too. There's, there's, there's team Amber, I guess too. And team uh, Johnny. I love you so much. Love you. Her comments have been limited. Or you know they were going to get her. So she disabled comments, I guess. So. But yeah, thank you guys for coming through. I guess we'll be back tomorrow morning. 
uh, I don't, it probably doesn't need to be a rush to be the first person to jump on your stream. It depends. I'll see what I can pull up for tomorrow. I think it's just jury selection. I'm, I'm really curious to hear like opening statements or whatever when that starts. Um, yeah, we'll just we'll see how it turns out. And I'm gonna try, if possible, if I can squeeze in extra stories, if possible. You need to play Amber on the Late Show with James Cor uh, Corden. Yeah. The day after Amber said Johnny Depp broke her nose, you tell me if it looks like she was beat up. Hmm. Mm. All right. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll I'm going to see what we can do for the uh, for the live tomorrow. I'll queue up some stuff and have it ready for tomorrow. So in case the jury selection is like stale, we can talk about or watch other things. We, ha we have the two hour clip to the audio clip. We can listen to it together. And uh, since I have people helping me out and there's going to be a couple of days this week, I don't have my daughter, so I'm going to have extra time. So if possible, I don't want to commit to it. I want to try to add. There's a lot of missing person stories going on. And what I was doing back then when we were doing like these daily streams is when I had the time, I premiere a new story at the end of the stream. So sometime in the middle of the week, we'll see if it's possible. I just, I don't want to overcommit because if we're sitting here all day, then it's going to be hard to come back and do another like edit a video, you know? So, all right, you guys take care of my peace.